Today's video is found in your Unit 1D Expressions and Equations, Systems of Equations, Systems of Linear Equations. So new packet, 1D, page 1, problem of the day. We'd like you to do these two problems to the best of your ability on your own. Come up with an answer. Have some work on this page. We'll go over this tomorrow. So pause the video and work on page 1. Now that you've completed page one, we're going to talk about systems of linear equations, which means a system of equation which has more than one equation. It could have two or three. We're going to solve simultaneously two or three equations at the same time. This is in your textbook, um, chapter five, section one. Lionel is x years old and his brother is y years old. Two variables here. Like y equals mx plus b has two variables. The difference in their ages is one year. The sum of four times Lionel's age and his brother's age is 14 years. The related system of equations is, so the difference in their ages, Lionel minus his brother, is 1. So that's this equation, the difference in their ages. The sum of 4 times Lionel, Lionel is the x, Lionel is x, so 4 times Lionel sum and his brother's age, y, is 14. So I have two equations. Solve the system of linear equations by making a table of values, then find Lionel's age and his brother's age. So make a table of values for each equation. This is not my favorite way of solving a system of equations because you could keep trying values because there's infinitely many solutions to a linear equation and not find one where they are similar, where you get the same answer. So x minus y equals 1, so if x is 2, 2 minus what number equals 1? Well, y has to be 1. So here's the solution to 1 in the table. When x is 3, 3 minus what number would equal 1? Well, 3 minus 2. When x is 4, 4 minus what number y would equal 1? Well, y would have to be 3. Then solving, so we put three values in, 2, 3, and 4 for x, and we got the values 1, 2, and 3 for y. Well, let's see if we come up with a similar solution. So 4 times 1 would give us 4, plus what number equals 14? Well, that would be 10. 4 times 2 is 8, plus what number y would equal 14? That would be 6. When x equals 3 in this equation, 4 times 3 would give us 12. 12 plus 2 would give us 14. Oh, 3, 2. When x was 3, y was 2 in the second equation. And when x was 3, y was 2 in the first equation. So we found a simultaneous solution. It is when x equals 3, y equals 2. So Lionel's age is 3 years and his brother's age is 2. Remember, x was Lionel. A set of linear equations that is more than one variable is called a system of linear equations. The single pair of variables that satisfies both equations is their unique solution. So a set of linear equations, it could be three linear equations as well, that has more than one variable, x and y, is called a system of linear equations. So it's not just a single linear equation, it's two of them or three of them or four, we could keep going. The single pair of variables that satisfies both equations at the same time is their unique solution. So the next example says, solve the system of linear equations by copying and completing the table of values. The values x and y are positive integers, so we can't choose any negatives for x here. A bottle of water and a taco cost $3. The cost of three bottles of water is one more than the cost of a taco. Let x be the price of the bottle of water, so 3x, and y be the price of the taco. Three, the cost of three bottles of water 
and the is one more than the cost of a taco. So if you take three bottles of water minus a taco, you'll get that one more, that equals one. And a bottle of water plus a taco, so here's one equation, water plus a taco is three dollars. Here's the second equation. The related system of equations is in the table. So solving the table here, when x is 1, 3 times 1 would give us 3, minus what number would equal 1? Well, that would have to be 2. 3 times 2 is 6, minus what number y would equal 1? That would have to be 5. X plus Y equals the second equation equals 3. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. And 2 plus 1 equals 3. Well, here's our system. They both solve, have a solution at 1. When X is 1, Y has to be 2. And it works in both equations at the same time. Next page. Solve the systems of equations by making tables of values. Each variable x is a positive integer of less than 5. Okay, so x plus y, x plus 3y equals 7. All the other positive variables less than 5, so we don't have to keep guessing here. And 3x minus y equals 1. I want to go into that next problem there. So I'm going to choose uh, 1 and 2 to start and see if I get anything. So 1 plus 3 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, so 1 plus 6 would be 7. 2 plus, 2 plus 3 times 5 thirds, because I need to get 5 there, 2 plus 5, so this would have to be 5 thirds times 3 would give me 5. Okay, not such a nice answer. Let's try 1 here. 3 minus, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2. Oh, 1, 2. Oh, yay, we got the right answer, but I'm going to put 2 in as well. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 5 would give me 1. So here's my solution, 1, 2. So the solution to this system of equations is the ordered pair 1, 2. I was lucky. Otherwise, I'd have to keep going up to the positive integer less than 5. In the next one, y equals 2x. I'm going to write it in that order. And I'm going to ask you, um, as I did in class, to watch the other video, because we're going to solve these graphically using the graphing calculators. I'm not a fan of the table method here, but We'll do a couple of them with the table method. So when x is, let's say, 2. I'm going to start with 2 here. I'm going to try to choose 2 and 3. When x is 2, 2 times 2 would be 4, and 2 times 3 would be 6. Um, oop, got to solve that for y equals. So subtracting x, I get negative y equals negative x minus 3. Well, dividing everything by negative 1, because you can't solve for negative y, you get y equals positive x plus 3. x plus 3. So y equals x plus 3. Make my table. Well, when x is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. Mm, doesn't match. When x is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. Yay! So this is the solution. The ordered pair... 3, 6. And if I didn't get that, I would have to try another value like 3 and 4 and so on. In a playgroup, there are x boys and y girls. There are a total of 6 children, so x plus y equals 6. That's my first equation. There are twice as many girls, two, twice as many girls as boys. So 2 times boys would equal girls, right? Um, the related system of equations is. So y equals 2x. Doesn't say it's under 5, so let's start making a table here. Let's choose 1 and 2. 
When I put 1 in for x, I get 1 times 2 is 2. When I put 2 in, I get 4. And the other equation would be y equals minus x on both sides, right? And I would get y equals negative x plus 6. So when I put 1 in, negative 1 plus 6 would give me 5. When I put 2 in, negative 2 plus 6 would be 4. Oh, that's the solution. So my ordered pair is 2, 4. There are twice as many girls as boys. Yes, there are four girls for every two boys. That, that's true. The related system of linear equations is... And their solution is 2, 4. And that's it for today's video. Again, please watch video 8 in the Math 8 Chapter 5 Systems video uh, playlist to see how to do this on the graphing calculator.